The next time you go for a walk around a beautiful pond like this one in Belmont Park and you don't get bitten by mosquitoes, you can thank the regional district for their annual mosquito control program. The cool and wet spring means that there's a lot more standing water out there. Yes, yeah, certainly the potential is there. I mean, it's been cool and moist and, and mosquitoes require water to develop. So anytime you have more water, you certainly have more potential for mosquitoes. Um, so we survey the sites, usually um, permanent water bodies, temporary water bodies looking for mosquitoes. And then when we find them, we would treat them. Um, and that's all part of the, the nuisance part of the program. The second phase is when we go around and we treat the roadside catch basins. And that'll have, you can imagine these catch basins hold water. There's no predators down there. Um, there's water that's coming in off of irrigation and landscaping work and um, just natural rainfall. Um, leaf litter, grass clippings, all that type of thing makes for organic matter. <clears throat> so it's a perfect little breeding spot for mosquitoes. So the regional district is asking you to help by taking a look around your yard. Removing water from standing water from their properties, filling in low areas that may uh, provide a few millimeters of water that's enough for mosquito larva to breed. Um, they should have, twice a week change the water that's in their bird baths, wading pools, uh, dog bowls, plant pots. If you do want to sit out on your patio or deck in the evening and don't want to be bitten by mosquitoes, you might want to set up some mosquito coils in advance. If you're walking or hiking in the early hours or into the evening, make sure to wear long clothing and apply insect repellent containing DEET. In Kelowna, Cindy White, Castanet.